I'm going to show you how to build a cable that will take you from two regular phone lines through a patch panel to the phone on the other side and work. This place is getting phone lines as well as internet through the fiber optic utility and they've got two pots or plain old telephone service ports here that are both active. So they've got two lines and we're going to have to go through one jack to get to where the phone is on the other side. Our supplies are some network cable that I've measured out, a, an RJ45 jack, which is what goes into the network side of the patch panel, and then these are called RJ11 jacks, which is what your phone service is. So any regular phone line, which is kind of antiquated now, but uh, most houses still have them, and businesses, if you've got a phone line, it requires one of these jacks to plug into it. Of the eight wires in your network cable, two work per phone line. So one phone line equals one pair. And in the before times, the way that would work is the blue would be line one and the orange would be line two. The other thing about phone lines is they go from the center out. So line one is going to be in the center and then line two you split and have the next pair on the outside of the center and if you had line three you would do the same which I'm actually going to do since it's going to be easier to feed these cables into the network jack. So this might look like Frankenstein's monster but it will make sense to the phones. So I trim the wires down a little bit at an angle so that they will fit more evenly or more easily through the RJ45 jack. This is a pass-through jack. Super easy to make sure that you've got everything lined up the, the way you wanted it to be. Here it is in the crimper and I'll show you that I need new blades on this crimper. Because the outside ones I gotta twist off a little bit. These RJ11 ends are passed through and you can see right here. So it makes it kind of easy to make sure that you've got them in directly the center. They are good for six wires, which makes it a little more difficult. But if you've got two vacant spots on each side, you know you're good. Here's the RJ11 jack in the crimper. This crimper actually does both RJ45 and RJ11. And uh, we just cut those off and it crimps it down and it's ready to go. Now I've got lines one and two on the RJ11 side or the phone side. And on the patch panel side, I've got everything lined up and we should be ready to go and just uh, be on our way with lots of phone service. There's line one and two plugged in. And I think port seven is where I need to plug in to. Don't know if I'll be able to do this with just one hand. It's a little tight there, but oh, look at that. Here we go. Should be ready to go if I remembered the right port. Now we just have to check for dial tone. Sounds pretty good. Both lines are active. And that's how you make a funky phone cable.